Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. And on tap tonight, it's the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Sacramento Kings here in Golden One Center. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. The Mavs have put the ball in Luka Doncic's hands and asked him to create. Coach Jason Kidd said, I don't know if anybody told Picasso he had to use all the paints, but I just want to remind him that he can rely on his teammates. His teammates are going to be there to help him. Good words from a great point guard, Kevin. Indeed, that's, uh, that's high praise. A Hall of Famer, D.A., thanks. This game will probably be something of a chess match, don't you think, Greg? Both these squads love to run intelligent half-court strategies. Yeah, you can expect to see some interesting playmaking as these squads try to open each other up and create opportunities to score. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Powell is out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Irving. Then there's Doncic, and it's Hardaway in at the small forward. And for Sacramento, Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herter, and it's Barnes in at the three. Now here's Barnes. Puts up a three, trains the three-pointer. You know, Barnes is a good shooter from deep. When he's in rhythm, he's dangerous from out there. Irving with the ball. Doncic left side. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on to Aaron Fox. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Shoot two. And he makes the first. Over the last few seasons, the Kings have been near the bottom of the defensive rating. And GA, that is a problem. Yeah, I think they've tried to address that a little in the draft, taking Davion Mitchell back in 21. But it's been a consistent issue in Sacramento. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And you look at all the things Doncic can do. One in particular, he can control the pace of the game. And Greg, I love that about him. His size, his strength, his savvy, his skill set. You really can't speed him up at the offensive end. Everything he does is at his pace and his tempo. He methodically breaks you down. So it's the Mavericks now. The Kings getting the button. And here's Doncic from the arc. Sinks the triple. Doncic has got five points so far. You know, that's a real key for Doncic. I mean, when the three-point shot is dropping for him, his guard ability goes off the charts. Now, here's Fox. Murray finds a bonus. That's in there. Murray with the assist. The bonus really good basketball instincts, especially in the paint area. Knows exactly how to operate. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Anjic passes to Powell. Now Bullock. Just five to shoot. Fires it up. And he overshot that one, missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. There's the pass to Sabonis. Pass to Fox. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And Clark, don't you have to admire the way the Mavericks are always looking to compete? Yeah, I like that, Kevin. It's a good point by you. It starts at the top of the organization. I mean, the team has really avoided any kind of lengthy rebuild to their credit. They want to win, and this team uh, is definitely capable of doing that. And the first one at the line is good. Boy, I like the focus and unselfishness Fox brings to the court. A strong defender with lightning quick reflexes in every spot. Fox 
sits them both. And the Kings look a whole lot different now than they did for most of the 21-22 season. And they were changes that had to be made. Doncic, no good. Kings have gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. Pass to Sabonis. It's deflected. Like saying Powell flexes muscle on the defensive end. Really good at timing his jump to block the shots. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. There's a screen. And here's Doncic from the arc. Hits it from three-point range. Doncic has got eight points. Now when a team suffers a playoff drought like the Kings have, Greg, you can expect some major moves. And you just hope they can find some stability, Kevin, moving forward. This is a team that's gone through 12 head coaches since the last time they made the playoff. Outside for Murray. Drills the three-pointer. Sabone is making sure to pass it where his teammates are open. And that's just being a good passer there. Irving sets a screen for Doncic. Outside Irving. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. And you knew things were going south for Irving and the Nets when they couldn't agree on a contract. He was eventually traded and is a big talent boost to this team. Sure, Kyrie too. still has all the talent in the world, even if it comes with some risk. And that one falls for Irving. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Powell. Davis Bertans comes in for Reggie Bullock. Josh Green's checked in for Hardaway. And Frank Nielikina's subbed in for Luka Doncic. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. Now, here's Mitchell. Passes it to Lyles. Unloads. The shot comes out. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Irving for three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Now the pass to Monk. There's 53 seconds left here in the first quarter. The three from Davis. They get it back. Hold. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. It's his first trip to the line. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. There's 47 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Nila Kina. Berton sets the pick for Irving. Berton kicks to Nila Kina. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And that's good. Davis Berton for three. And that'll tie this game up. Yeah, I like the feel Neely Keena showed there. I mean, nice sense of where he was and what was available. And here is Mitchell. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. From 12 feet out. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Unable to get that one. 
It's all tied in Sacramento. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And when you consider how the Kings are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. And when people talk about defense, the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post there. And you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbow. So that's the edge of the free throw line. The idea to close down the paint. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herter. Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. And it's Davis in at the three slot. That's the five to begin Take the second break. quarter for Take the break. Kings. Two shots. That free throw, no good. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons. And it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message that they're spending more energy at that end of the floor. And that's essential for any elite team. And the Kings making a change here. Barnes has checked in. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. Now here's Herter. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Murray outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Really sweet passing from Fox. He's a reliable floor general and has great vision on the court. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense. But he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run it. And here is Fox after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Sabonis' so screen on Doncic. Here's Fox. It's rebounded by Doncic. Dallas has gone four or six from outside the arc tonight. Dishes to Powell. Back to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Pass to Bullock. Let's the three fly. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Bullock's got the lead up to four now for the man. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. During the summer of 2021, the Mavericks had some major changes. Longtime head coach Rick Carlisle left after 13 years in Dallas, and they also got a new GM. Coaching staff changes aside, Clark. Do front office moves affect players that much? I think they do, Kevin. It's hard for them not to. Normally, we see a flurry of trades or free agent signings. We saw it with the Mavericks trading away Kristaps Porzingis, changing the composition of their squad, going in a different direction. So that'll take some adjusting to. Fox hits them both. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Green kicks to Powell. Back to Green. In the corner, Hardaway with it. They set the pick. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Skill that's going in a variety of ways. I mean, give Hardaway Jr. these looks, and he's happy to oblige. 
outside Fox. Down low, Powell with the steal. Now here is Hardaway. Kicks to Doncic. Pass to Green. Five to shoot. Outside Hardaway. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. And now a seven-point Maverick lead. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Fox. Barnes outside. And there's the pass to Sabonis. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Sabonis has got six. I love how Sabonis focuses in and maintains that concentration. Very good at taking on the aggressive defense. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. A nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Now here's Doncic. 12 points for him. And they pick up two. He does not That's lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And I also like how they've trusted one another with the Rock, creating shot. shots by keeping the ball moving. Dallas making a switch here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Dwight Powell. Bertinus comes in for Reggie Bullock. Nilakina, he's checked in for Hardaway. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Green. Luka Doncic is a do-it-all player. I mean, he does everything for this team, including being a walking triple-double threat on a game-by-game -game basis. Now, here's Mitchell. No points in the game yet for him. Shoots over Doncic. And it's Mitchell missing. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. The Kings trail by 11. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Now, here's Doncic. 15 points in the game. And they double up Doncic. Lock at six. It's not going to go for him. And the Kings going the other way now. Now, here's Monk, covered by Irving. Monk with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. A three-pointer, no good. Mavericks leading by nine. Anjic passes to Irving. Doncic with it. Now guarded by Monk. Back to Irving. McGee is screen on Mitchell. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Irving's got five points so far. It sure was textbook, and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll. A solid decision maker in these sets, and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to. For three, Mitchell, and some nice defense there to end the quarter. And so it's Dallas. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? 
to come out with a you know intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know guys are in a in a great rhythm and we have a great tempo, so just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave. Thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. On the floor for Dallas, Hardaway is out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Doncic in at the guard position. And Reggie Bullock gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Stolen by Bullock. How about the reaction time on that pass? Quick. And what good work there to get in the way of it. Hardaway sets a screen for Irving. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Irving's got the lead up to 14 now for the man. You know, that goes back, I think, to playing with LeBron in their Cleveland days. Kyrie learned how to operate without the ball sunk. Fox from outside drains it from beyond the arc. Fox has got seven. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Well, the father of DeMontis Sabonis, Arvidas, named to the NBA 75 All-European team. Arvidas, 7-3 and just so skilled. Now here is Hardaway. He has five. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, I like the way Fox uses his wire reframe there. I mean, even when he's getting knocked around and jostled about, he maintains control and still gets the job done. And, Greg, what was it like playing with the 7-3 Arvidas when you were in the NBA together? Kevin, we, we had a couple years together in Portland, and I tell you what, he was an incredible passer. Really made Find me a lane. better cutter because he was the first guy I played with that could make all the passes no matter where he was on the floor. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Dallas. They've led by as many as 14 points. The wing Hardaway covered by Barnes. Hardaway, no good. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now here's Murray. Six points for him. The kick out to Barnes. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. Dallas leading by eight. Hardaway passes to Bullock. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Five points in the game. Well, you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Fox finds Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Now, here's Green. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Irving. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Harrison Barnes picks one up. Well, Irving takes advantage of any mistakes defenders make, so you've got to recognize how crafty he is. 
He's gone two for two at the line so far. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they perform at the line. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Akpal is checked in, and it's Terrence Davis in for Kevin Herter. JaVale McGee is checked in for Dallas. Bertinus comes in for Reggie Bullock. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Davis, the pass to Sabonis. Feeds it to Mitchell. Outside for Davis. Misses the three. Mavericks leading by 10. Driving the lane. Pass to McGee. Back to Irving. Off the left rim and up. For Sacramento, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. The reviews have been good for the league's moves to eliminate foul calls on non-basketball moves. The NBA said it wanted the game to be played, not manipulated. Draymond Green says it helps to know that you'll have more of a fair opportunity as a defender. Guys can't just cheat the system. Kevin, back to you. That's great to see, David. Thank you. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Sabonis, no good. Dallas has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Now Green still looking for his first bucket in this one. Irving can't hit. The Kings trail by 12. Sabonis is screen on Bertons. Here's Mitchell. There's Sabonis. The kick out to Barnes. Sabonis sets the pick for Barnes. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And the strength of Barnes right there helps him in a big way. I mean, even when he gets hit, he powers his way through it. The Kings have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for What's Sabonis. Up? And Monks subbed in for Terrence Davis. A key member of that 73 win Golden State Warrior team was Harrison Barnes. And almost the forgotten part of the famed death lineup it was Barnes, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Andre Iguodala. Harrison, a big piece of that 2015 championship team as well. Now, here's Doncic. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. The Kings trail by 11. Here's Mitchell. Holmes with a screen on Doncic. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. Right back after this break. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. The King shooting for the game at 42%. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herter. Monk is out there with Murray, and it's Holmes in at the center. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. And it's Fox with the jam. And he's got it going now when he's in this. 
this kind of a zone, boy, he's fun to watch. Doncic passes to Nilekina. Back to Doncic. Let's a floater go. Rebound by the Kings. And here is Fox. Over Doncic. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the Mavericks. They've led by as many as 14 points. You know, what makes Luka so special and lethal is that he has the ability and the knack for taking over games at the most opportune time. Here's Monk. The Mavericks making the shot. Murray kicks to Fox. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Shooting two. The first one falls. Sacramento making some changes. Sabonis comes in for Rashawn Holmes. Davis is subbed in for Monk. Then for the Mavericks, Hardaway's checked in for Bertinus. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Frank Nilekina. Fox hits them both. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Here's Doncic. And it's denied by Fox. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Sabonis. Murray, the pass to Sabonis. Now here's Herder. From downtown. And that's a foul. Called on Dwight Powell. That's his third foul of the game. Outside, Davis. Sabonis sets the pick for Davis. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Mavericks leading by nine. Bullet kicks to Doncic. On its way from Irving for two. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic taking pride in setting the table for his teammates. I love his unselfishness. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Fox, no good. Dallas has gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Left side, Irving. Six to shoot. Got it. Good job in the low post. Irving's got 10 points here in the second half. All Irving needs is just a little room to convert, and he's good to go. Fox passes to Herter. And there's the drive. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. Shoot I mean, two. the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. Love the consistency at the free throw line in this one, too, fellas. Getting a healthy number of points off trips to the line. No good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. And there's the foul. It's on Keegan Murray. That's his first foul. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Mavericks.
Donjic with it. Tries again. An easy two points on the layup. Doncic has got the lead up to 14 now for the man. Luka's a big 6'7", very strong, deceptively so. He's an extra forward out there rebounding the ball, even though he's got point guard skills when it's in his hand. Now, here's Fox, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Fox. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Outside Irving. Can't hit that one. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. And Fox has it in the corner. 109 left to play in the final quarter. Sabonis' screen on Doncic. Lock at six. Fox. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. They can take their time on this possession. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Just give themselves a little bit of a break. Yeah, they built a lead that simply can't be overcome at this point. So it would be a nice dub for the Mavericks. When you consider the difference in their field goal percentages, the other team has to be happy that this wasn't a bigger loss. This team was on fire. Yeah, Kevin, it, it, it's always frustrating when you can't throw a rock on the ground and the other guys just can't seem to miss. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Luka Doncic. An unbelievable scoring performance. He absolutely took over and never let up. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yep, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. And they recover it. Murray for three. Rebounded by Hardaway. Now, Doncic. So, no problem for Dallas as they get the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So, what made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, had a great game. You know, we had a. I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our new balance player of the game, Luka Doncic.